Rasmus Hodgland replied to Nikola Malenkovich's early opener, but Ruben Amarim's home side were unable to get back level for a second time after they conceded twice in seven minutes at the start of the second half. United keeper Andre Onana was at fault for Forrest's second goal, shaping to make a low save to his right when Morgan Gibbs-White shot from the edge of the area, only to be beaten to his left as the ball did not move as he thought. Onana and Matisse Delete then let birthday boy Chris Wood's looping far post header bounce between them, and Lisandro Martinez failed to react either as the ball ended up in the far corner. United skipper Bruno Fernandez reduced the arrears after 61 minutes, but despite making five changes, the hosts were unable to force an equalizer. It means United have suffered successive Premier League defeats for the second time this season, with this setback following on from their midweek loss at Arsenal. Amorim has won only one of his four league games in charge as his side remain 13th. Their 19 points from 15 games is United's lowest tally at this stage of a season since 1986-87. Forrest, in contrast, are up to fifth. Wood's header means he is now Forrest's record Premier League scorer, overtaking Brian Roy by moving to 25 in the competition. The New Zealand forward has certainly struck up a positive working relationship with manager Nuno Espirito Santo, taking his tally to 21 goals in 31 Premier League appearances under the Portuguese, including 13 in 16 matches away from the city ground. He's doing amazing. We're so glad to have him. It's never too late, Nuno told Match of the day after the win. He might have been able to celebrate his 33rd birthday even earlier in the game, but Wood was caught by surprise when Ola Ina's cross reached him at the far post and he stabbed wide. Yet Wood is having a superb season. Only superstar duo Mohamed Salah and Erling Haaland are ahead of him in the Premier League scoring stakes. And having left Manchester City empty-handed on Wednesday after firing wide when he ran on to Kevin De Bruyne's wayward back pass, he was not going to return without reward from a second visit to the city. Major question marks will be asked of United's defense, with Onana, Delete, and Martinez all having an opportunity to deal with Wood's header, but failing to prevent it finding the net. The outcome from a United perspective was sadly predictable, but for Forrest, after their own patchy run of one win in four games, it was a welcome return to form that was celebrated long and loud by their traveling support at the final whistle. They had not won against United at Old Trafford since the 17th of December 1994 when Stan Collymore and Stuart Pearce scored their goals. After the optimism that greeted Amarim's arrival last month, the reality of the task ahead of him has quickly become apparent. While individual errors cost United dear, the new head coach will be sorely disappointed about Forrest's opener. United conceded two set-piece goals at Arsenal in midweek. Amarim expected an improvement here, yet within two minutes his side had conceded to Forrest in exactly the same way. It was all so routine. Elliot Anderson sent his corner to the near post. Milenkovic had a wrestle with Martinez which left the Argentine static and stranded, and the Forrest defender headed home. Amorim is realizing set pieces are major threats to his chances of making a success of the United job. Yet the major focus is bound to fall on Onana. The Cameroon International has been one of United's better performers this season, yet his failure to deal with Gibbs White's shot was inexplicable. As far as misreading the flight of a shot goes, there are not many worse examples at this level of the game. The goal was a shattering blow for the home side. The uncertainty it created quickly led to a third Forest goal, and from that point on the home side were desperately chasing, Martinez volleying United's last chance wide in stoppage time. Kindly like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments section.